is from the wonderful game we're playing today, Home Safety Hotline. I actually, I, I saw the Steam, saw it on sale, thought, hey, let's grab it, let's have a look at it. Um, especially after I got, um, what was the wrong word here? Recommended to play something? Maybe horror-like. So hey, let's have some fun today, shall we? Uh, right to, oh, I guess we can start right now. Um, I was going to wait 10 minutes, but eh, we're already on. We're already on, we're already 12. So sure, let's pop in. Let's have some fun today, shall we? I think some scares. So, I don't know if I'm scared. Maybe I will, probably. I'm not expecting to not be scared, but fun. Let's start things up. I I'm not blocking anything, but we'll have to see. Uh. Ah, my orders are being captured. Ah! What are we doing? Uh, well. We have a television commercial, apparently. What's this? Oh, hi. Oh, the password has it. It's also just the house fires. Flooding. Right. Also a problem. Black mode! Also a problem. Sorry, what? Keep your fans are safe. Oh. I would be loving the old school aesthetic in this. Very nice. Let's. Time for this. Let me just quickly. We have. Mailbox. Let's have a look at this. Uh, before welcome. Hey. Uh, welcome to the home hotline safe. Yeah, home safety hotline family. The board is our new home safety hotline responder. Um, I love the slash roll here. Great. Right. Um, your supervisor's name is Carol. She'll be giving you a call today, brief you on your duties. We'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. Responds with a max 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard, okay. Use an error, some of you may notice video files from our desktop archive appearing on desktops. So please just regard these, they'll be cleared up in due time. Good job. Um, let's. Ah, we can set a resolution. Go to full screen. Yeah, yeah no, right. I forgot my, my screen's a weird size, isn't it? This. Um, I don't know if you actually have it. You... Is it one? This might be actually. Full screen. Oh, that'll fix for you, hopefully. Good, okay. Be a little better. You won't use the exact same font. Ah, you won't use that. No, I'll use this for now and we'll change it. Keep everything as it is. Text size will bump up just a little so you guys can see it on your screens. Um, keep volumes as it is. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do. I'm not a fan. Everything else should be fine. Okay, cool. But, um, Oh, I see. This is their main menu. Interesting. Let's start then. Why is that? Oh, interesting. Please clock in below. We will do that. One minute, just to just toggling cal not a block. Oh boy. My cloud button is load. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the cloud button should be in. Off and top. Oh, maybe. And toggle it back in. Okay, I should hopefully fix the cloud button. See if it does. That'd be fine. Let's clock in for the day. Hopefully. Oh boy, okay. We have 
bunch of entries for it. Uh, that's all. Hello, cool. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Alrighty. Well, okay. We are technically tech support. That should be fun. Alright. We have big bugs. We have bees. We have black Oh, hello. Oh. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Okay. Please hold. Hello. So, specks of mold in a kitchen. What can it be? I'm guessing black mold is probably the most likely thing. Okay. Um, let's just go down and see if there's anything could be. Um, very moist from all locations. Frequently small black spots could be off, could be this. That is a black mold. Musty smell. Okay. Um, okay, let's say that it's black mold. Actually, can we ask some questions? John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or yeah, it could be on something. Oh, that's probably wrong, but hey. We couldn't be asked so many questions, could we? Hmm. Could it just be house flies? They say infestation, so maybe it wouldn't have. Hmm. Buzzing sounds and thoughts of decay. Oh. What? Thoughts of decay? Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... E e e e you know? It, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but... I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. So like hold. a mass, if I was to guess. It sounds a squeaking, so it probably is mice. Um Can I actually call them back and ask them questions? No, okay, I guess we're just doing this, sure. Um, so it's mice in this case. Uh, this, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. So it's mice. Cool, let's see what that is. I assume it's mice. Do I think I've really made sense in that case? Oh, ah, Nicole. Go! Oh. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Yeah. Please hold. Oh, uh, well, what could it be? Probably not ticks, probably not termites. Raccoon, maybe? Um, freaking garbage spells and clattering at night, that's not probably a big mole. Uh, volcano ships at mound, they're known to eat themselves. It could be a mole. Um, what could it go for? So there's a doorbell go for. 
Um, buy rent of that property. Uh, I guess we could say it was in the hole. They're the only ones with really big, like, volcano ship grounds. Yeah, let's look at that. They mentioned that. I think. Good point. Mm -hmm. Was it actually there? That is the question. Our spiders. Oh, good, they just don't show the image for that. Okay, good. Preparatories. Yeah. Oh, it could have been. Oh, they mentioned. Okay, so that last one is probably cockroaches rather than black mold because this mentions it being similar to coffee grounds. Right. Okay, well, we'll show that first. We know what the first one probably was. Hello. Who are you? John here again. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bother Colin. Alright, well, yes, sir. Yeah, I thought so. It makes sense it was cockroaches, right? Fair. Fair, fair. questioning why... Uh, uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running mm -hmm. wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. What? A refrigerator? What? That's odd. Very odd. have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys, can you send some guys up to get this done? Uh, no, we don't do that. Please hold. They want more knowing, we technically don't do that. I just say that it's not impossible. Okay, but then what do I do for these guys? Because we don't do more knowing. Um, do I just give them a random thing? I guess, sure. We'll just say that you guys have freaking bees or whatever. We don't do more knowing. I only got 50% accuracy. Not bad, okay, I'll take that. I'll take 50% accuracy, maybe we'll do this again, and I'll try and get on to next time. Mm -hmm. Alright, mailbox. Bit before it's too late, that's kind of worrying. Now me. Used to have your job. Uh, you are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit, really, trust me. Yeah, that's somewhat disheartening. Maybe worrying, isn't it? Okay. Oh, We'll clock in then. See what we got. Okay, we're in there. Is anything new? Do not. Hello, it's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay, sure. New issues are available. We have a stair slug. I'm sorry, what? 
Dog size slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Slime residue, okay. A pipe hob. Pipe. Just pipes. <sighs> Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Huh? Oh. Please do hold. Uh, yep. Yeah. Probably not that high quest. Um, slightly larger than pipes in heaven, therefore clog the pipe. Loud digestion noises. Um, probably none of those. For a house fly, not a house fire. Not frozen. A false beat. What? Um, fine. From a hop, but not a hop. Or a bird. Bees? It could be bees. Um, buzzing sting. You don't have that. And I bet it could be bees. The only real one I can think of is bees. It's bees. I think it's bees. But the only thing that could be really is we can't really do anything about pollen. And of course, crunching boards. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But I haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Noise coming from the living room, and it's spotless. Please hold. Um, maybe it's a hog? Um, small human creatures. They are known for the tendency to consume dust dirt jungle substances. Yeah, so it's probably a hog. Sounds like. Okay. Common. Oh, it provoked how they're capable of consuming a sax and their horses. Um. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metaphors, leaving a bowl of ice cream or milk in Really? Huh. Okay. Kinda of cute. Bunnies. But like... Bunnies, I guess, yeah. Yo, Buzz Goober here. Been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? Called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Did you just cut the call? Okay, I guess you have. Oh, good to know. Can't help you there, I'm afraid. I guess we couldn't help you. Well, unfortunately. If it wasn't bees, then what was it? I'm generally, I'm actually curious what was it then. I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please! Okay, what do we have? We have... Rolling in the walls and teeth marks that could please hold be rats. It could be bed teeth. Um, hard discomfort for sleeping. Nope. You don't have to deal with that. Teeth marks. 
Thank you. There wouldn't be any of the hobs that hurt me. Um, it could be mice. It sounds like mice because it's gnawing marks. It could be. I think we'll pull in mice first. Because it matches up with all the symptoms. Oh, mice. Mice. That's it. Maybe that is mice. We'll see if it is. Okay. Oh, we've got. Hello. Who are you? From? Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds yeah. like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've set out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Okay, so scratching is about a quiet Please hold. What are we thinking? Not a desk club. It's in walls. So. Can't be a bat, can it? Um. Scratching. Yeah, so it wasn't dropping, so it can't be a bat. Up and rads now. Nope. Not one of the hobs. Probably isn't a go for your walls. Um, not a mole. Not a raccoon. Probably not termites, because again, no dropping. Um, I want to say it's mice. Again, it's, it's scratching the walls. It's the only thing it could be. Yeah, I think pull it will call it a mice. I think that's probably not. Maybe. It has to be mice. What else would it be? It's in the walls. Right? Has to be. Okay, well, too much. I guess Blind Bolt's not working today. Hey. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! That sounds like a desk call. Please hold. It does indeed sound like a desk call. Because it's organizing stuff. Um, tidy their hands will frequently sort more materials and desks to their liking. Yeah, we'll say that we have a disc. So it sounds like it comes through symptoms. Oh, no, I don't need to. Cool. 60% actually. Improvement. But, just saying. I wish I could tell you what you got wrong, what you got right at the very least. 